Hello and welcome to the first of our two-part video summary series examining all you need to know about the novel Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. The first part of this video summary will examine all you need to know when it comes to understanding the context of the novel as well as summarising the main events that happen within the story. So in terms of context, you need to be aware of the author herself, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. She's a Nigerian writer and she was born in Nugu to an Ibo family. Ibo being a sub-tribe within Nigeria. So the nationality of Nigerians is Nigerian. However, there are several sub-tribes and this is important and this impacts the story's narrative. Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie studied medicine at the University of Nigeria and switched to Drexel in the US to study communications and political science. Then she went on to Eastern Connecticut State University, John Hopkins and ultimately Yale University. Her writing has been given numerous awards and common themes in her writing include race and gender. The Nigerian Civil War, which frames this entire novel, is important to understand. Nigeria gained independence from Britain in 1960. Prior to that, it was colonised. In other words, it was ex treated like an extension of Britain's territory. However, this changed in 1960, and in 1966, another subgroup, and or rather another tribe called Hausas, they began massacring Ibos and killing them, who then fled eastwards in Nigeria. The Ibos and others established a new republic called Biafra in 1967. There was then a succession war between Nigeria and Biafra, which broke out a few months later, and Biafra ultimately lost this war and surrendered to Nigeria in 1970. And although this war was just for three years, it was incredibly bloody and it shaped the character and trajectory of Nigeria as we know it today. So, when it comes to the novel itself, the novel begins with us meeting Ugru, an Ibo boy, who goes to Nsuka to be a houseboy for Ed Odenigbo. Odenigbo is a man of strong character who is in love with Alana, the daughter of a very wealthy man. Alana move, moves in with the two and Ugru is educated by Odenigbo, who tutors him privately. The story then switches to Richard, who is an expatriate that's living in Nigeria. He leaves his girlfriend to be with Kainene, who is Alana's twin, and Richard becomes friend with Alana and Odem Nibbo. A few years pass and the Ibos are blamed for the coup that overthrows the Nigerian government. Alana gives birth and takes their child to Kano to be with her relatives, and the violence in Nigeria continues and her family is massacred, so she flees again. Colonel Ojukwu announces a secession, so to state to create a state of Biafra, but a war is declared on Biafra and Suka is evacuated the city itself. Olana and Odenibo get married, but there's an air raid warning during their wedding reception. The story jumps back in time to before the war. Olana is in London and mother visits her uh, uh, her husband to be Odenibo. She brings a girl named Amala with her. Odenigbo sleeps with Amala and Olana finds this out and moves out. Olana then sleeps with Richard. She tells Odenigbo but neither tell Kainene. Olana and Odenigbo adopt Amala's child who we now know is Ugru. Kainene finds out about Richard's, aff Richard's affair with her sister but she stays. The story then comes back to the present. Odenigbo's mother passes away and he starts drinking heavily. Ugu is drafted into the army and wounded. Kainene takes in Olana and her family, but then she soon disappears. Olana then returns to Nsuka, horrified by what's happened, and Ugu learns his sister was raped and begins to write about his experience. That's all you need to know when it comes to the plot itself as well as context. If you found this video useful, do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And if you're seeking revision worksheets on this novel and a breakdown, especially if you're studying it for your exams or your coursework, do visit www.firstratetutors.com, which has lots of revision worksheets that you can use to understand this novel. Do come back for video number two, which examines key themes, characters and symbols. Thank you so much for listening.